good, right? Yeah, of course. The salary is so brown, okay. Uh, as compared to... Sa, I mean, if you can... Yeah, yeah. Compared to Philippines. Compared to Philippines, literally speaking. Hey, amigos, Hi. my adlaw. Um, it's a Sunday afternoon and I'm having a chill time with my colleagues and friends, Hubert and August. It's... Oh my god, there's very lot of ties, yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's, not, not it's not all the time that it's sunny in Deutschland that we try to make the best fight. May, yes, make the best. Uh, okay. Wait long. What the fuck? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's not really all the time that it's sunny in. They have this in Germany. <laughs> yeah. So we figured we might as well just hang out and talk about life and. Eat a lot. Yeah, <laughs> check up on each and every one. Today yep. we're having rice, uh -huh. like buttered shrimp, mm -hmm. um, some uh, what do you call corned that? Beef. Corned, corned beef, beef. Mm -hmm. chicken, and we have this German thing. It's called this roti bete. Oh. I, I forgot. Red beets. Yeah, it's. Is it beets? Red beets. I forgot. I, know. <laughs> I, Red beets. I forgot the English word, uh, English name for this one, but this is so good, and they haven't tried this. My uncle. Um, cook this for us. Um, I just want to say hi to my tita, Gemma, and Uncle Bernard. They're in Mannheim right now. And also, she cooked the biko. Because it's been a while since we've had biko, right? Yup. Okay. Let's start. Good and appetit. So how's work, August? How's work? Nakapagod. So August is also a an intensive gigi ambulante. That's a yep. traveling ICU nurse here in Deutschland. So you've been yes. working for how many months now? I've been working for already already three months, I three guess. Months. Yeah. So far so good. So far so good. No problems whatsoever. No, I mean, like with, with work, I, I think the work is okay, right? Yeah. Work is okay, and of course, it's a lot of work. We'll experience a uh, problem. It's yeah. okay. Thanks God, it's okay. And, um, yep. See, yeah. What do you enjoy most? Enjoy most? Oh, yeah. Uh, with your line of work? Well, I enjoy most with my line of work is my salary, actually. <laughs> And the salary, wala, yun lang talaga. I mean, yeah, the salary is good, right? Yeah, of course. The salary is so brown, okay. Uh, as compared to sa... I mean, if you can... Yeah. yeah. Compared to Philippines. Compared to Philippines, literally speaking. Kumbaga, your salary here is worth it every single minute ng trabaho. Because the quality of life here is so good. Yeah. It's like you don't really have to earn that much, but you get to... To buy groceries, enough for your food, you got to pay rent. I mean, yeah, if, yeah. if you don't have to budget, you'd survive here and be able yes. to save as well. Of course. Yep. And? And how's the travel? So, how's the travel? Well, I already adjusted with the travel uh, as compared to my early or the first few months, few, first month uh -huh. here in Germany. Yeah. Sobra nakaka stress. Like why? But like why? Because you have to transfer from train to train, mm -hmm. bus or something. And for us, wala tayo nun sa Pinas. Yeah. So talagang nakaka stress sa una lang, but okay naman. Was there a time you missed your train? Many times. <laughs> <laughs> Many times after no no, it's serious bro. Many times I missed my train. Yeah. And then I'm 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 asking favor to the, what do you call this? In sa conductor. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I miss my train. Yeah. I'm, and what do they tell you? I'm very new here in Deutschland. Mm -hmm. uh, blah blah blah. And that's okay. It's okay for them. Oh really? You just need to ask them or tell them politely. Mm -hmm. And then okay, it's okay. As long as you have your valid ticket, of course. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's was there also a time where, in, let's say, every time we come home after. Seven days of work, then you're sleepy, right? Probably you're from a, mm -hmm. a night duty. Yeah. Then uh, I don't. Can I? 
Uh, what's that like? Sometimes you you you, you think that you, you, you fell asleep and you think you all, you have already arrived to your destination. It turns out that you're still on the wrong uh, stop and you went out of the train. So so uh -huh. far, but, I don't okay. have an experience like that. Really, I try to stay awake uh, as long as I'm traveling. <laughs> it's I'm, a, I'm quite afraid. Yeah, it's so I feel so uh, difficult to, to stay yeah, awake. Yeah, it's but but I've already tried it many times. Na ano to, um, keep a uh, I'm I'm. I'm awake mm -hmm. during my travel and I tried my best not to fall asleep. That's my secret mm -hmm. not to <laughs> <laughs> It happened to me stop. No, to it, my Because uh, it happened to me two times. Like I thought I arrived in tear, but yeah. I was still not in tear. <laughs> so when I got out, I'm, I was like, no, this is not fair. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. <laughs> so I had to run back in. Hiyo. Mm. <laughs> in my situation, I just literally missed my train. And so bumaba ako sa maling babaan. Umalis yeah. na yung train. Okay, fine. That was so my. You just waited for the next train. Yeah, that was my first month here in Germany. It happens so many times, bro. But now, would you say that you're an expert? I cannot say that I'm an expert, but with the help of BB app, app yeah. yeah, I can say yeah. I know I know my routine. <laughs> yeah, because it was a, a bit too late for us to learn about the DB app. You were right. Remember? Mm -hmm. Because if we would have used it before, uh -huh. though those things like our though those things that happened was in Koblenz, it would oh, have so never happened. My first day here in Germany, I already talked with our colleague. Yeah. Uh, he is Rizal. Mm -hmm. He told me that I need to download the DB app. app so that I I can follow my trains easily. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. And did you work as a nurse also in the Philippines? Yeah, I already have six to seven years experience. Uh, experience as a nurse uh, in a hospital, community, mm -hmm. and hospital settings. Yeah. Yeah. If you were to choose, I mean, if you were to compare the, the your workload in the Philippines and here in Germany, if I were to compare, yeah, yeah. Well, it's Would quite. Would you say it's easier here, or it's? It's easier. It's easier here. Really? I can say, yeah. My work, my work, especially in hospital. Uh -huh. No, it's super stressful. Mm -hmm. Workload is as in workload. Like the normal ratio in hospital in the Philippines, like, well, how much quite, would that be? It's quite worse. Um, uh, for example, in my ward, we are only five five stops then we have this patient for 50, 50 to 60 or 40 to 50 patients really yeah and sometimes my absent pa na mm -hmm. colleague eh ayun mas sobrang na stress and then but the difference here though is that we don't really do the those guns corporate pig in the philippines no no yeah of course yeah that, um, that's a difference that's the <coughs> difference <coughs> dito you have to. You do everything. You, you do everything, but the advantage of that, you're just going to take care of one patient. The whole ship in your duty here. Oh, yeah, yeah, especially since we're travel nurses. Yeah, it's okay. I can imagine if you're working in a hospital. Ah, no, no, no. In a ward. It's, it's not possible, yeah. especially in a public, because I work in a public hospital, uh, especially in BRTTH. Hello, guys. Okay, maganda naman experience. Uh, when it comes to experience as a nurse, yes. Mm -hmm. You can say that experience talaga. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. Pa, pero yun na nga. Marami talagang problems regarding the workloads. But it took you a while before you moved to another country, like here to uh, Germany. Uh, yeah. 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 Because like normally people would just get like two-year experience in the Philippines. Ah, no, and, no. Yeah, uh, what made you decide? Why? Why did you choose Germany? Why did I choose Germany? Yeah. It's simply I didn't um, dream. Uh, at first to work here in Germany, oh, yeah? it's just because of my friend who told me that Kuya, why not try Germany? Try not to learn the ja language. Yeah. And I say, yes, why not give it a try? And then, luckily, I'm here. Like you didn't think of going to the UK or the USA, New Zealand, Australia? Uh, yeah, I, I thought, it, uh, at first, at first, mm -hmm. my dream was um, to, to go, go in to... New Zealand, yeah. United Kingdom, mm -hmm. but no, it didn't. It didn't work, and I didn't try to take the exam. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
First time. So luckily, so, yeah. Germany was really for you. Yeah, I can say Germany is for me. And I can tell you're very happy. Yeah, I can say I'm happy and contented. Yeah. So, you, As I of now. Because, <laughs> right? I mean, Hubert, are you happy that you're here in Germany? Yep. Cue the cricket sounds. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, it's, it's a personal preference, guys. Yeah. And daming masaya dito. You just have to mm. enjoy it. Mm. You just have to learn mm -hmm. to enjoy it. Learn mo lang. Kasi, mm. ah. mag moments na ganito, mm. this is heaven for us. Mm -hmm. Okay? Not, mm -hmm. not really so ecstatic, but some people will learn to enjoy mm. this. Especially Ayun. singles. Okay, yung mga tao na gusto palagi mag-isa, <laughs> may enjoy nila to. You just have to find the silver lining here. <laughs> just, just read between the lines, guys. But you bet you're so lucky that you have us in your life. <laughs> Wala ka plastic ang bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's so true. Because <laughs> Hubert is very. He's such an introvert. I don't know. Yeah. He is an, an introvert. And little by little, he's getting milestones, he's making more friends. And that's really good, right? Because like, here in Germany, you need to have a support system. Yeah. I can imagine that like, if you're alone and you're, if you're away from your family, it would really feel so sad. So it's good that you have friends, you have colleagues, and you have fellow Filipinos as well. And mm -hmm. I also suggest like, to other people, don't just limit yourselves with the Filipinos. I mean, mm -hmm. go out there, make friends. friends. Um, the thing about Germans is that they're not really the most open people. It takes, it takes time. time for them to warm up, but when you become friends with them, they become really, really good friends. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it, what's good though is that I've already had German friends before I came here. Because like, I've met a lot from my travels. And we've been keeping in touch. And the only reason that we haven't seen each other is because of COVID. But yeah. you know, after the lockdown, I think everything is gonna be okay and more blogs will come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more travel videos from yep. Alex. And we'll be eating a lot of food. German food. German food. Have you tried German food? Yes. Maybe French food. Oh, okay. Okay, Italian. so we, we, we won't mention your patients' names. Oh, of okay. course, yeah. of course. But, but, but some of those patients, they 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 cook food other. Yes, um, uh, especially one of my patient mm -hmm. in Sig um, in Sigan. Mm -hmm. uh, my patient and I were cooking together. Oh really? Yeah, we're cooking together. Typical German food. So you know how to cook German food now? Yung iba. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I know the ingredients. Oh. But the problem, bro, I don't know the exact name of what. Oh, yeah, cooking. I was about to ask like the. You know, it's quite. Mm, Difficult to remember. Okay. <laughs> I guess I. But I'm not sure. But I'm not sure. 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 I'm not just enjoy German foods. Yeah. Wala pa rin tatalo sa Filipino foods, guys. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So much more flavorful. Yes. Gabi na pan. I mean, well, there I can say, yeah, I can say yeah. talaga, literally. The, the last time, the, mm -hmm. on my duty, last, last, last day lang, mm -hmm. I can say, mm -hmm. our colleague uh, gave me typical German food. Mm -hmm. Sauerkraut. Ah, yeah, I don't like sauerkraut. On the other one is the um, yung para sa pata. I don't know. I, I literally don't know the name, but it's typical German food. So, deep lang, okay lang. Mm -hmm. But yung talagang ma, eh, talagang masabi mo you are very satisfied yes. with the lasa, the taste. Mm -hmm. I can say. Mm -hmm. Was it a home cooked meal? Because I think like mm -hmm. the best German foods are the ones that are being cooked at home. No. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, uh, panyan yeah. bro. It was bought. Yeah. It was bought. Uh, that's why. Yeah. And also, the same thing for Filipino food is that, like, especially in other countries, when you're looking for Filipino food, normally the Filipino food that they're serving is not really that great because the best Filipino food are the ones that are being cooked at home. So mm -hmm. I suggest if you're not a Filipino, Be make one. friends with the Filipinos, they'll cook food for you. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you'll gain a lot of weight. <laughs> Skin. Mm -hmm. That's the deco right there. And we kind of miss the shrimp because like shrimp here is a bit expensive. Mm -hmm. And normally expensive. here in Deutschland, you often buy fleisch, like meat. 
right? Because that's what's available here. You don't really get to eat fish all the time. No. Something something with kata and fish. Ah, yeah. no. But like the other day, do you know Inun Unan? Kanang, Inun Unan? Um, fish, fish, uh, Paksiu? Yeah, Inun Unan. Yeah, I made one like the other day. It's, it was so good. I, I used like a smoked mackerel. Wow. So aside from being the, the usual Inun Unan, there's this smoky flavor as well. Mm -hmm. Let me, as in. I understand in on also in Bicol. Ah, you have in on in Bicol. Yeah, also in on on in on in in on. Yeah. Kaya ano uh, like what, what do you call that? Like you cooked it in vinegar. Mm. Ah, so you have it in Bicol. Also in Bicol. Kasi kaya hindi set nong bin what in on on ni si. Wala na sa ano sa Manila. Bulakan. Ah, bulakan. I think wala. Iba. Parang iba yung tawag. May tawag. Paksiyo, paksiyo, paksiyo na yun. Paksiyo is literal na masabaw eh. Hmm. Because there's another term for that, it's called pinamalhan. Because mm. pinamalamu. <laughs> oh my god, guys, you should, you should try this one. Is that a fruit? Um, it's a vegetable. It's a salad. Try it. Um, is it a relative of dragon fruit? <laughs> in color. Limba? Alam mo singkamas? No. It's kind of like singkamas but more juicy and it's red. Oh, so sour. I'll just finish this yeah. shrimp, then yeah. I'll try that one. So we'll con we'll continue eating. Dagang salamat sa pagtanaw. Till next episode. Choose. Mm -hmm. uh